Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Just My Opinion. I am Brandon Keith Avery, and I really do appreciate you tuning in. But before we get into everything that has to do with the box office success, especially coming from Black Panther, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Also, click the little bell so you can be notified when I make uploads and give me that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. So now we have the box office for black panther in week number four it is doing awesome internationally domestically here in the states and worldwide overall but real quick before we get into that let's go ahead and look at the box office for the uh, top five no not top five top ten so coming in and I, I wanted to do this because i'm so surprised that this movie is still uh doing well and coming in at number 10 is jumanji welcome to the jungle um, it is a very great film right now. It is standing at nine hundred and thirty four million dollars worldwide. Three ninety seven here in America. Five thirty six um, over in uh, international uh, and all the other foreign countries. And this movie came out December 20th. So January 20th. So it's uh, was it two and a half months and it's still uh, in the top 10. So that is just doing amazing. Uh, number number nine is Annihilation. It came out two weeks ago. I thought that movie was OK, but. Um, I was disappointed with the ending. Gringo is number 11. The reason why I said Gringo is because that just came out this past weekend. Uh, my review will be um, coming for that pretty soon. The Hurricane Heist is coming at number eight at three million, uh, three point one million, three million, one hundred and fifty thousand. Death Witch just came out last week. Six point six million. Peter Rabbit um, is still kind of hanging in there. It's six point eight million. Uh, I did see the movie. I did uh, give a review for it on my channel. Right now, it is standing at $119 million. That is all right. The budget for that film was $50 million, so it just needs to get to $150 million uh, worldwide uh, for the studios to consider that to be a somewhat of a success. Game Night is coming in at number five. It's $7.9 million, almost $8 million. Red Sparrow coming in at number four at Eight million one hundred fifty thousand eight point one million. Strangers Pray at Night, which I did review on my channel. You can check that out. Coming in at number three, it did open this weekend at ten million dollars. What was the budget for that? I'm assuming it was extremely cheap. Um, let me go ahead because it's not on Box Office Mojo. Because sometimes, sometimes Box Office Mojo doesn't uh, have uh, the production budget for certain films, but. That does not mean that you can't go and look it up in any other places. And right now, uh, I'm on uh, Wikipedia. It says that the box, uh, the budget for that was $5 million. So uh, that is extremely cheap. Um, so if it's making $10 million uh, as first weekend, you know, that's already double the budget. It just needs to make another $5 million, um, which it will, uh, and to be considered profitable. Uh, Wrinkle in Time comes in at number two. This is a spe very special movie to me because it is being directed by Ava DuVernay. This is being based on a, on a book that came out many, many years ago. Um, there has never been a black female director in Hollywood that has ever had a budget of $100 million or more. And this budget came in at $103 million. So it needs to make $309 million uh, worldwide for the studios to consider this somewhat of a respectful profit. Remember, I always talk about that a film needs to make three times the budget, three times the production budget worldwide for it to be somewhat of a success or a profitable success because we've got to always check out the percentage that the theater owners get from the gross sales which is on average about a third of that and also you got to include marketing um i did see this movie i paid for it myself uh i had an opportunity to go see it early but i missed that screening but i did go see it thursday night uh and i think at eight o'clock showing i did not like the movie at all you can go check out, go subscribe to my channel, go check out their review. Um, I didn't like the movie at all, but I still paid for it, wanted to pay for it uh, because I wanted to support Ava DuVernay, who directed the 13th uh, Netflix documentary on um, the incarceration rate in this country. And also did seven with David Ayelowo playing the, um, you know, the um, infamous uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Um and so I want to support Ava DuVernay. Um, she was supposed to be directing Black Panther, but she turned it down 
Uh, I, I remember when they reported that years ago, I was kind of glad because I was like, I don't know if she will be able to handle that movie. I just don't see her style being able to direct that. But she did direct. She directed A Wrinkle in Time. I did not like the movie, but, um, you know, please go support it because I don't want the studio to come back like, well, we gave you a chance, but, you know, we lost money on you. So, you know, uh, we do need more diversity in Hollywood. I was listening to John Campia and he was saying that. Like out of 100 directors, 98 of them or 98 percent of all the directors in Hollywood are white males. That's too much. Uh, that is just too much. Uh, I mean, we should always go for the most talented, but at the same time, you know, that needs to be spread out just a little bit. I mean, it would be nice because um, people that look different from a white male, you know, whether you're male or female, they do have a completely different sp- perspective on life and filmmaking and art. And so we want to get the best from all sides, not just one perspective. I'm not just saying that I think you get what I'm saying. But anyway, so A Wrinkle in Time came in at number two at $33 million. That's a little bit below expectations. But Black Panther is doing the amazing real talk coming in at number one again in this fourth week at an estimated $41 million, $41,136,000. Now, today is Sunday. This is the estimated. Tomorrow we will have the actuals, but I didn't want to wait till tomorrow. I wanted to come in today because it's crossing a million dollars. And guys, this is just freaking amazing. Um, Right now, um, in the country, it is at $562 million. Oh, excuse me. I'm burping and stuff. So that $41 million ass on making it $562 million domestically here in the States. Worldwide right now, it is now crossed over the billion dollar mark. Um, I mean, and it, it could drop. It could be at ninety nine million. I mean, not ninety nine. Nine hundred and ninety nine million tomorrow if it drops down. But I, I don't. You know, they pretty. They have these estimates pretty accurate. But one billion dollars. One billion seventy eight million six hundred and fifteen thousand six hundred one dollars. It's only twenty two million away from one point one million dollars. So that's amazing. So five sixty two domestically. Five hundred sixteen million internationally. And let's look at this real quick. So right now, domestically, or in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the MCU, domestically, Black Panther is the second highest successful film of all time in the MCU, those 18 films. Only film that it is beating it is uh, Marvel's The Avengers at 623 million. Black Panther is at number two at 562 million. I really do feel that Black Panther is going to be the number one domestic in, in the whole MCU. And I'm, I'm very proud to say that. Uh, let me scroll down here just a little bit. Now, let me look at this chart over here. Let me read this report by Brad Brevard. Black Panther remains box office king, topping $1 billion worldwide. I'm reading this from Brad Brevard, um, posted March 11th, which was yesterday or no, today. Um, on top of eclipsing one billion worldwide, Disney and Marvel's Black Panther has now achieved what no other film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe has accomplished, as it remained number one at the weekend box office for its fourth straight weekend in a row since release. The superhero repeat means Disney's A Wrinkle in Time opened in second place, followed by Avrion's The Strangers Pray at Night, while both Amazon Studios Gringo and Entertainment Studios The Hurricane Heist uh, struggle mightily. With an estimated $41.1 million, Black Panther topped the weekend box office for the fourth straight week in a row following this release. The last time a film managed to do that was Star Wars The Force Awakens, which came out of 2015, uh, December. The film's domestic come now stands at a massive $562 million, making it the second highest grossing superhero release of all time. Um... Internationally, Black Panther debuted in its final uh, major market this weekend in China, where it opened with an estimated $66.5 million, guys. So this week, so it finally opened in China, of, um, uh, I was going to say May 9th, March 9th, this past Friday or Thursday, whatever day that was. Uh, 22 million on Friday, 66.5 million overall for China this, this weekend. So I, it's pretty safe to assume that this film will make uh, $100 million in China. It probably will top out at at least 150 million. I'm just gonna s- just guess that. Um, yeah, I- I'm you know maybe 130, 150 
We're just going to have to see, but that's freaking amazing. Um, overall, the Films International Weekend added an estimated $100 million to the bottom line, pushing the um, the overseas total to 516. So, in, and I'm going to come back and compare some international numbers here in a second. So, 516 million globally, internationally. Without that, what I just said didn't make sense. Over the Films International Weekend, added an estimated $100 million to its bottom line, pushing the overseas total to $516 million for the global tally that now totals at $1 billion. Black Panther is the fifth film in the MCU to reach this mark, just cracking the top 20. Okay. So let me close this out so I don't get confused. Let me go to this. All right. So what I was talking about was. Now, let me go here. Let me go. Let me do this. Let me go to all time. Now, guys, I'm on box office mojo worldwide. I don't know. Let me. Let me go all time domestic real quick. So this is all time domestic, all time in the United States. Black Panther is at number seven right now out of out of all of the United States history for film in this country. Black Panther right now is at number seven It's number two most successful Marvel Cinematic Universe film and number seven uh, for the domestic number one is Star Wars. The Force Awakens at 900 uh, 936 million. This is domestic, not worldwide domestic. Number two is Avatar at 760 million. Number three is Titanic at 659. Jurassic World, number four at 652. Marvel's The Avengers at 623. Star Wars The Last Jedi at 619. And Black Panther at 562. Now, it will, I think it will get up to about the number four or number three spot. Um, let me go all time worldwide real quick. All time worldwide. Black Panther is number 21, 21 um, film in all of cinematic history worldwide. Uh, of course, we got Avatar at number one, and I'm not going to read uh, all of that. Um, but let me go back here. Okay, where are we at? All right, so if you look... I'm still on box office mojo. I am at looking at the Marvel Cinematic Universe films. Wait, where's Black Panther at? Okay. So out of 18 films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, only five have reached a billion dollar club. That's Marvel's The Avengers, Avengers Age of Ultron. Well, Marvel's The Avengers, 1.5 billion. Avengers Age of Ultron, 1.4 billion. Iron Man 3, 1.2. Captain America Civil War, 1.1. Black Panther is at 1 billion. Okay. Um... The only other, well, I talked about that internationally. Now, this will destroy the myth that predominantly black films cannot sell well overseas. Out of the 18th films in Marvel Cinematic Universe, not worldwide, not domestic, but just looking at the international foreign countries alone, Black Panther is the number one, two, three, four. Wait, wait. Okay, one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's the seventh highest international film at $516 million. It is going to rise, okay? Because Avengers Age of Ultron is 946 internationally. Uh, Avengers, the first Avengers is 895 million internationally. Iron Man 3 is 805 internationally. Now, I don't think Black Panther is going to get up to the $800 million range internationally. That's it's 300 million away from that. Uh, I don't I don't think it's going to climb that much. Captain America, the Civil War is 745 million internationally. And then we have Spider-Man Homecoming, which came out July of last year. That's at 546 um, internationally. Black Panther is at 516. So Black Panther this time next week, Black Panther is going to surpass that Spider-Man Homecoming. And also Thor Ragnarok, which came out in no November 3rd of last year here in the States. Internationally, that is five hundred and thirty eight million dollars. And so Black Panther is going to surpass that this time next weekend, too. I'm really confident that Black Panther is at least is going to at least is going to get to the six hundred million dollar range uh, worldwide. It may get to six fifty. Uh, I mean, it. I'm pretty confident that Black Panther will reach six hundred million dollars in, in international territories and may get up to six hundred and fifty million. Uh, we're just going to have to see. And so the last thing that I want to look at real quick, guys, 
is is what I is my the fun thing for me to do is the opening weekend showdown to where we have it against Star Wars The Force Awakens, Jurassic World, The Avengers, Star Wars The Last Jedi, and Black Panther. Okay, looking at just the weekends, um and this fourth fourth weekend, Black Panther won at forty one million dollars. The last Jedi was twenty three million, the Avengers was thirty six million. Um, Jurassic World was 29 million and the for- Star Wars The Force Awakens was 42 million so Black Panther was barely like like 1.1 or 1.2 million dollars behind Star Wars The Force Awakens on this fourth weekend so that's pretty good guys that is very very good that is that is having these strong legs like this it also goes to show because th- this film has not had any competition so this is blatantly obvious truth that studios can start going ahead and and releasing big blockbuster films in uh, February, because you know that was the month after the dumping ground. No really major release was has ever been you know released in February. But this is now proof that you can do that, which is good because uh, with film entertainment and TV entertainment going strictly, well, TV has always been on TV. What am I talking about? But with film entertainment mostly going to streaming with original content with Netflix, and then we have uh, Disney launching their uh, streaming platform, Fall of 2009. What's taking the spot of the major uh, theaters right now are, you know, major blockbuster films, not these small films or whatever. And so we don't want the theatrical run to get too crowded. You need to spread these releases out. I made a video about that, you know, on, on my channel asking is Disney or Fox crazy subscribe to my channel. Go watch that. But this just shows that we can now release major blockbusters in February. You can really, really release them at any time of the year and it doesn't matter. They're going to make money. And plus there's just no competition. So you can release it in February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, whatever you get my point. Um, going to the daily, uh, breakdown comparing it to all these other films. Let me scroll down here. So uh, Black Panther did twelve million dollars. Well, estimated today, twelve million dollars. Uh, it beat a lot of films. It, it beat The Force Awakens, Jurassic the World, and The Last Jedi. The only thing it didn't beat today was The Avengers. Avengers today, you know, well, on. Let me let me scroll up and do this by number, not by day. Uh, by day number, okay. So in the 24th day of release, uh, the Avengers had 12.9 million. Black Panther had 12.8. Uh, Saturday, it did 18.3 million. Friday, it did 9.9 million. Um, and it's now pacing uh, um, over every other film. Um, well, actually, no. The Last Jedi right now on the 24th day was at 572 domestic. Black Panther is at 562 domestic. But Jurassic World is a five fifty six million domestic, and so I like these daily breakdowns and weekend breakdowns because it can really give you a great idea of where it will end up domestically, and I think that Black Panther will at least make um, six hundred and fifty million dollars. I, I would be very impressed if it makes seven hundred million dollars domestically, but I'm pretty sure I'm ninety nine point nine percent sure that it is going to make at least six hundred and fifty million domestically. Um, so another, that's like another 90 million, 90, it'll make another hundred million, uh, here in domestic. So overall, let's go ahead and place your bets guys. What do you think black Panther was going to make worldwide overall for his whole box office run? Huh? Okay. Let's see here. I'm I'm gonna try. I'm not just going to throw a number out there. Let me get my calculator out real quick. Because I really think this movie is going to do well. It is already doing well. So, was it 178, 615, 601? We're going to add another 100 million to that. Okay. Plus another. Hmm. I think Black Panther is going to come in around 1.35 million. I mean, 1.35 billion. I wanted to make I wanted to make the most out of any MC film, but I think I'm a 
I think I'm gonna stick it at one point. Uh, I think I'm gonna stick it at one point five billion. Only reason it's not gonna be making more than that is because it's the international numbers. Um, let me go back here real quick. Like the Avengers: Age of Ultron and Marvel: The Avengers and Iron Man three, all of those gross at minimum eight hundred million dollars internationally. Uh, Avengers did nine hundred, nearly nine hundred and fifty. Avengers only on nearly did nine hundred million. I don't see Black Panther crawling that high internationally. You know, that's another three hundred million dollars internationally. I don't think it's going to crawl that much. So I want to say the Black Panther worldwide is final theatrical run is going to be around one point three uh, five million dollars. Um, Chadwick Boseman needs to get his ass paid. Um, he, I think he only got three hundred thousand for Black Panther, which is fine because people are freaking out about that, calling racism. Um, that is the exact same amount that Chris Evans got paid for his first Captain America solo movie, 300 K Thor got paid 200 K for Thor one and Robert Downey Jr. Got paid 500 K for Iron Man one. So Chadwick Boseman's first paycheck is in line with those. And now he's locked in with this five picture deal. All these actors are, uh, if he don't get paid, uh, in the future, then, that, then that's when I'm going to join everybody else talking about, okay, this is a bunch of bull crap. I'm not there yet because I have a little understanding of how it all works. But if he don't get no pay, nice ass paycheck for Avengers Infinity War and Avengers 4 and Black Panther 2, uh, that's going to be some BS. But it's also good that he's only contracted for five films. So after Black Panther, two, he's already shot. He only got one more to shoot. That's Black Panther 2. Um, you know, because uh, five pitch deal, two Avengers films, two Black Panther films and Captain America Civil War. I already did Civil War and Black Panther, Avengers 3 and 4. Those are already shot. I mean, they may have to go back and do some reshoots for part four, but those are already shot. So he only got to do Black Panther 2. And then after that, he can, I mean, he can't come in. I want $150 million. I mean, he can't be doing crap like that. But um, right now, Chadwick, Chadwick Boseman needs to be at least the second most paid in the MCU. The reason why I don't say number one is because he's not a bankable star yet. Because the Express, Draft Day, Marshall, and Get On Up lost the studio's money. And he was in all those films. 42 did okay. It broke even. I think it I think 42 had like a $96 million debut. Excuse me, guys. I'm so sorry. 42. I think the uh I think the gross that was uh Okay, the budget was forty million. Yeah, and it made ninety five million dollars uh, worldwide, and that's not good. Um, forty times, yeah, need because that's not three times the budget. You know, it needed to make one hundred and twenty. So Chadwick Boseman is not a bankable star. That's why I'm not saying that he should get out and get Robert Downey Jr. money. And now, if he was a bankable star, uh, like uh, then I would be like, no, he needs to be getting paid forty million. If he if his single film grosses more than everybody else. And he was bankable before this, then yeah. But you know, people are showing up more for the Black Panther character than Chadwick Boseman. So, uh, but anyway, guys, uh, that is just my opinion on Black Panther's Week Four box office results. It reaching over one billion dollars. I didn't want this movie, this is not movie, this video to be too long. Um, but guys, what do you think about this? Are you happy or are you upset that Black Panther's making you know um, this much money? Uh, I don't know why you would be upset about it, but you know, go ahead and leave a mature comment below. Um, there are still some people out there that feel that this film is anti-Black American. I disagree with that entirely because the film was not uh, villainizing Killamonger. He was my favorite character. Uh, the film was not putting him out to be evil, except for one line that Okoye made. I do agree with the CIA involvement of the film. I did not like that as well. That really did kind of did frustrate me. But guys, what do you think about all of this? The movie, the you know, that you like it, that you hate it, are you happy about the box office or not? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, go to my website, check me out there, bookmark it, and also look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's right there at the bottom of your screen, and I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my Black Panther box office results for week number four, with it reaching over $1 billion. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.